Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Bill's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. My dear friend Scorpio, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to um, to contact me may be for a question or for a reading please do not hesitate all of my information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you that being said if you do enjoy the channel you have not yet subscribed please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and I do thank you so very much so with no further ado let's begin this reading this is a reading is with messages from spirit. So these are warnings from spirit, by the way. Uh, we're going to be speaking here about some abandonment, about wisdom. And we're going to conclude with truthfulness. So let's begin at the top with abandonment. Now, your insecurities, they're not serving you very well right now. Your pain from previous experiences, they now feed your internal fears. Through a lack of support, you have devalued yourself, feeling unimportant, even believing that others see you as inadequate. So when you have to mask a part of you that you really are in order to be accepted, then you suffer the devastating effects of abandonment. Sadly, this reflects many areas of your life right now. You tend to be a little bit clingy, maybe a little bit needy, hoping desperately not to be rejected and to take everything just personally. If someone wishes to be alone, for instance, then please know that this is not a reflection on you. Your emotions, they might ruin the good things in your life once in a while. And the more you crave security, the more you will drive others away. There's still a part of you that's hiding, that is not wishing to be discovered for fear that you're going to be cast aside. If you look into, if you look into the mirror, what do you see? You need to take heart. Spirit wishes to fill you with self-love, with confidence, and with the assurance that you deserve to feel. It's time to take back the power that was stripped away from you by the words and actions of those who abdicated their responsibility to you. And reclaim who you are. It may take time, but with spirit, you are gently going to build up your trust in others and believe in yourself. And once you stop taking the blame and you realize that your fears are rooted into the past, you're going to begin to heal. And you're going to defeat the fears that seem to control your emotional responses. And any feelings of isolation and desertion that it that will be all that abandons you from here on so remember that you are never alone spirit is always by your side you need to release the past release the hurt believe in yourself bring that self-love back into your life and move on forward now we're going to move on forward to your following message and this is the um, wisdom oops that's not what I wanted to do this is what I want to do. And voila. Wisdom. Now, why do you spend time trying to find assurance from others? You already know the answers to the questions that... Uh, and you have plenty of common sense. So, why are you not applying it? Why do you not trust the acumen that is so readily available to you? You naturally have all that you need to understand to know what is best for you and for the outcome of situations in your life. You have the answers already and deep down you absolutely know it. But you discard it so readily. It is time for you to believe in your abilities. It's time to understand that you are equipped with all that you need to ensure 
the best possible outcomes as you walk your life's journey. It is time to trust your ability to think and to act by using your knowledge, your experience and your understanding. And by using your insight and common sense, wisdom is going to prevail as you allow your optimum judgment and your truth to reveal the answers to that which is sought by you. So spirit is going to appear along with maybe a trusted familiar such as an owl and this is about seeing through the darkness. This is about seeing within you where lies the wisdom that you are seeking. And as the answers shine forth you are going to find all the advice that you need to help you on your journey. You are the wise one, the wise, the wisdom keeper. It is time now to be the wisdom sharer. You know that there is absolutely no need to seek the approval of others, for you have all that you need right now at this time. You need to stand strong in this knowledge, and in time you are going to find that many are going to seek your hard-earned wisdom also. Moving on forward to your following message, and your following message is truthfulness. Now, let's be honest. It is time to face facts. Otherwise, the truth may be revealed in a way that you would not wish it to. This is about spirit doesn't understand why you wish to simply hide away. To not expose yourself to the harsh world of judgment. It is your way of protection, but believe spirit when spirit says that truth is going to come out. It always does, and it is better that you confess sooner rather than later in order to avoid a bigger confrontation that you can handle. But please remember that when you keep the truth from others, when you tell lies, your energy it decreases and your light it fades. Everyone makes mistakes and there is no shame in this when you admit that you were in the wrong. Wouldn't you like to release the heavy burdens of secrecy? Allow spirit to support you as you step up to the mark. Let the world know who you truly are and don't be shy. Those who recognize your fabulousness are going to support you all the way and those who walk away, they were simply meant to do so. This message also comes if you are reeling from being mizzled by another. The only way to heal from this devastation is to note that it is much better to have found out now than to have been continually lied to. No one deserves to be in your life if they think that you aren't worthy enough to be told the truth. You now have the opportunity to move onward and upwards. This experience is going to help you use discernment in the future. Choosing only those who are around you, who have integrity, as you use yours. This situation, however painful it is, is a blessing in disguise, for it is actually to set you free. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting messages that you'll be able to use. Uh, if you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, in the meanwhile, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. And I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.